So if you're looking to prepare Nigerian jollof rice, you've just clicked on the right video. This is Nigerian jollof in Redefine. It came out so, so yummy. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're stumbling on my channel for the very first time, this is Favors Flavors Kitchen. And in this kitchen, we'll teach you how to prepare yummy recipe in a very easy way. You don't have to spend all day in the kitchen. So without taking too much of your time, let's just dive into it. So what I have in my pot, I have onions, paprika, which is teteshi, and I have ginger, garlic, squash bonnet, and then I just added the chopped tomato into the pot. So I'm going to steam it. I actually have like three, four ways of making jollof rice, but this is one of my favorite way of making jollof rice. If I'm actually having a guest and I want to wow them, this is how I make my jollof rice and it comes out really really good so just allow it to steam properly you can see that the water is almost drilled off so just allow it to cook stir properly after that you transfer it to your blender this blender is one of the best processor i've ever seen it's actually a processor it's the best i've been using it for years i've not had any problem with it it can crunch anything crunchable it's very very good and also if you're preparing your jollof rice don't forget to use the oil you use to fry either your beef or your chicken to prepare the jollof rice but if you didn't fry anything then that's fine optional you can use just the plain vegetable oil but if not if you fried anything please keep some oil to use it to prepare your jollof rice it gives the jollof rice another level it takes it to another level so what i just added is thyme so after adding the thyme, I miss it properly. I'm going to add my tin tomato into the pot. Just add it nicely. And when you add your tin tomatoes, please allow the tin tomatoes to fry properly. Yes, you don't want to have that tacky taste in your jollof rice. Mm -mm, you're going to spoil the taste. So allow the tin tomatoes to fry very well. Just keep stirring so it doesn't get burnt. Because it can easily burn. So just make sure you're stirring and you're stirring you're stirring it's okay for jollof rice to get burnt at the bottom because you cannot actually prepare jollof rice without it getting burnt but it's not nice when it's actually getting burnt during the frying of the sauce process mm -mm, it's not nice that way yeah so after it's properly fried your tin tomato is properly fried you cannot add those your blended tomato on your and ginger and one thing i want you to take home today when you're preparing your jollof rice please don't be stingy with your onions a lot of onions will change the game for you to take your jollof rice level to another level if you if you're hearing of this for the first time please leave a comment in the comment section below so i just show you how you can sieve your beef stock so that's the chicken stock the chicken i steamed to like prepare that that i fried so that's how you sieve it just use a siever and sieve it so you don't have all those crumbs all those onions and those other stuff in the stock in your rice it will not look nice at all so that's the reason why you sieve it all you need is just the juice from the from the stock yeah so after adding it just close it and allow it to simmer when you see your oil floating on top you will know that the sauce is actually ready so just keep stirring with jollof rice when you're preparing jollof rice during the sauce process when you're prepping it you have to stir if not it's going to get burnt just keep stirring so what i'm putting is, is some thyme and then i'm putting some nutmeg and i'm putting some curry and all purposes all purpose seasoning before i bite my tongue and now i'm adding some no cube yeah so that is all you actually need to make a very very delicious nigerian jollof rice this came out so yummy and i've just added salt right now and i'm going to stir nicely just like i said with your jollof rice you will have to stir just stir so that your sauce doesn't get burnt while um prepping it so i'm just going to throw some bay leaf in the pot and then close it and a light simmer so when it has get to this stage i will just add some boiled i like adding boiled water instead of just cold water when i'm cooking because it's easy for the 
for what you have in the fire to start cooking again instead of like getting the temperature to what it was and then it started cooking when you add already boiled water i make it easier you don't have to spend all day in the kitchen waiting for that to get hot again and now i'm just adding my washed rice make sure that your rice is properly washed anyways and make sure you're gauging the amount of um, water you put in the rice um, in the sauce before adding the rice so you could see that the water that I actually have the stock as in the sauce not water anymore the stock that I have the sauce that I have in the pot is equal to the rice so that's what you want you just want the the um, sauce to be a little bit above the rice in the pot yeah so stir very well once you stir very well you can use your tin foil paper this i always use it my fried rice my jollof rice use tin foil paper just cover the pot and allow the steam to be trapped in it it will make your jollof rice cook easily you don't need to put water one thing that people fail to realize is that when you've put your rice in the pot you don't have to pull water that's where a lot of people miss it i've met several people who tell me oh um favors flavor do you know i prepare my jollof rice and it doesn't taste the way seriously you don't have to add water and when you find out when you talk with the person a lot and get to understand what they prepared they actually added water after putting the rice in the pot so once you've put the rice in the sauce you've covered it already you cannot add water to it and also let me mention what is nigerian jollof rice without butter you cannot prepare jollof rice without adding butter that's a game changer so if you've been preparing your jollof rice and you've not been you've been ignoring the butter part of it you're missing the re cocoa of the jollof rice so that butter is very important i used to have a neighbor a lady who sells jollof rice in my street so when she's cooking she sells the best jollof rice when she's cooking we normally go to our shop and sit that sit there when she's cooking and everything so when she finished she give us the pot for us to eat <laughs> we eat the bottom so she'll just purposely leave some rice inside the underneath the pot that burnt area that burnt part of the jollof rice we eat it is so yummy so from her i really learned how to cook a lot of stuff a jollof rice was the best in my street so just look at that jollof rice look at how it's looking it looks like the real definition of nigeria jollof rice it came out so so yummy so if you've watched this extent and you've not subscribed to my channel please do me a favor by hitting on the subscribe button press on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever i upload a new video this came out really really delicious let me know if you're going to try this recipe and if you do please don't hesitate to come back and drop a comment and say favors flavor you they cook sha